Hi, and welcome back to my favorite things 2023 edition. And I'm doing something a little bit different this time. As you can tell, I'm not going live or I didn't go live. You're probably watching the replay or anyway, but I'm not going live this time because I wanted to share one of my all time favorite tools. It's in my VIP list. I love it so much that actually I'm bringing it back. I mentioned this a couple of years ago. And so I'm bringing this business tool back because it's so valuable to the small business owner. Now, when I started using this tool since then, it has added so many new features that I just can't help but share. I have to share it again. Now, a couple of months ago, I was at a conference. It was a course creation conference, social media conference. And one of the speakers raved about this tool. And when they asked the audience, which I was in, how many people use this tool? I, you know, my hand went up and I thought for sure, okay, at least half the audience is going to, you know, know this tool that, cause everybody uses it. That at least so I thought, but that wasn't the case at all. I, maybe 10% of the hands went up and I was shocked. I thought everybody knew about this tool and everybody knew how to use it. And that's when I knew I needed to bring it back and re recommend it to my small business owners, to my coaches and consultants, to my product owners out there who use video and I am using the tool right now. And that tool is called Descript. Descript is a video editing software tool. It is a game changer. If you are like me who either one hate editing, cause that's just not my zone of genius or don't know how to edit and don't want to take the time to learn, but can do things on their own if taught in a simple way. I think of Descript video editing like I think of Canva in terms of graphic design. It's easy. It makes it easy for you. What I'm about to do is just demonstrate what you can do with Descript. And if you are interested in getting Descript, you can do a free trial with uh, the link that I have below. Full disclosure, that is my partner link I have with Descript. And so I do get a credit with Descript for anyone who does use it and subscribe to it with my link. I want to make sure you're aware of that. But whether I use that partnership or not, I don't really care. I really want you just to use this tool, especially if you are struggling with creating video content similar to what I'm showing you right now. So check the link below. And right now I'm going to cut scene and show you how you can use Descript. Okay. So we're cut into Descript right now. And as you can see, I have a video that I created open. I was doing a video for my family and Descript gives you so many things that you can do. This is basically the video and it automatically does a transcript for you. So it'll transcribe for you. If you want to, you can also go in here and it will replace all the gaps, remove filler words, ums, ahs, those type of words. It'll do that as well. There's other interesting things about it too. Like say you need to edit, like I want to not talk about this piece of it. I just go ahead in the word area of it and just delete it. I just hit delete button like you would do a Word document. That's what I love about the editing. You can delete things. You can take paragraphs that you want to talk about. And maybe you're like, you know what? I want to talk about this earlier. I could take that. I can move it, bring it up here and add into that and change the order of things, especially if you have, you know, things that you might want to do and do in a certain things. I can go ahead and add other things to it. I, if I want to go ahead and add a file, I can click in here, pull up a file. Maybe I want to pull up and showcase a, a, a different screenshot here. I can go ahead and add that to this deck. So you can see, I can show that if I want to, and it will be there as long as it's covered through this video, or I can shorten the time frame for when this shows up. The big thing that I like doing in Descript is obviously captions. And so they have caption templates. So you can, you could use different templates for your captions. For example, if you want to do things like karaoke style, you can decide like how big your captions you want it to be here just to make it a little bit bigger. You can decide the size of your captions, the colors, the background, you could do all that here in Descript. You have this interesting format, you know, say that if I don't want this, I can delete that. 
I don't want this format, but I want it vertical. You can go ahead and create a portrait view of this. Now, I already recorded this landscape, but as you can see here, I could use this and maybe fill in some of the gaps here with a background and use this as a vertical view of this particular piece of video. I can add in things and then obviously they have, they're adding in some AI aspects of this as well, but they're definitely doing a lot of interesting things with Descript and it's constant, I mean, constant updates that are happening with this software. So the, there's a subscription fee for it. It's reasonable with other ones that are out there. And so I highly recommend and suggest that take a look at it, take the trial. But if you have some simple editing that you need to do, whether it is, you know, maybe you say a word like what I'm saying right now, and you, you say to yourself, oh, I'm kind of rambling. You can go ahead and cut that out. You can shorten things, you can create that. And then you also still have, you know, those who, who understand editing and wants to use the, the, the visual ver version of that, you have that down here too. One of the other AI pieces that I haven't talked about that the script has is like, say I wanna change this word and maybe I don't wanna say family, but maybe I meant to say first. There's an overdub feature where it will no, based on my voice, replace this word with family with the word like first, or maybe I wanted to say something else. So there's a, that's called overdubbing. So there's a dubbing feature. That's when you're starting to see a lot of the AI language and AI audio coming out was already built in. You can also correct it and say that you are speaking and for some reason the transcribe didn't pick it up right or they spelled a name wrong. Maybe it's not Renaissance. Maybe it needs to be spelled Rensen. So I can go in here and just change that to Rensen. I'll call that Rensen, hit correct. And what that will do, as you can see, it will show up like that in the captions. You can have caption on screen, you can create your captions as well. So you can do a lot of great things from a video standpoint, video, audio, as well as again, screens. Here, I'm gonna turn um, my little picture off here. If I don't wanna have my picture on the screen and I just wanna do screen capture, that can also happen. So there's lots of things that you can do with the script and it makes it one of the most valuable business software tools for you and your business. So there you have it, there's the script. And now I am back on the screen just to do a quick little outro. I hope that you find that this tool could be of value to you. I find most of my small business owners do find value in using this tool. And I would love to see you try it out. Let me know in the comments below if you use it or if you do try it out, just DM me. I would love to hear how it's working out for you. So there you have it, that's one of my favorite business softwares. And again, if you want the whole list and not wait until I talk about each of my favorite things, click on the link in the captions and you can have that. And until next time.